Additional distributions. So it seems like we're looking at all kinds of different tables and different types of tables, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our contingency table that we used before and we're going to focus in on a couple of things. Um, one of the things that I'll just briefly point out are marginal distributions. If I were to focus on just the totals, maybe I wanted to look at just the totals for gender. Um, 43, 37, and 80, or I should say 43 and 37, those would be marginal distributions since they are in the margin. Okay, pretty easy to understand. Um, also, if we look at just the eye color and we look at the totals in the eye color, 20, 45, and 15, those would be, con these values would be considered marginal distributions. So if you get a question on a test and it says what's the marginal distribution for eye color, you would want to say 20, 45, and 15. Okay, but let's focus a little bit more on conditional distributions. With a conditional distribution, what we're going to do is we're going to restrict one of the variables to just one type of outcome. When we do this, we create a conditional distribution. In other words, let's say we take just the males and focus on this distribution only, okay? That is a conditional distribution, okay? If we were to focus just on the females and restrict the gender that we were focusing on to just the females, that would be a conditional distribution because I'm, I'm putting a condition on one of my variables. Um, another example, let's turn to, to uh, the eye color. If we go with, if we put the restriction on the eye color, and we, we restrict it only to blue eyes, 15, 5, and 20, this would be our conditional distribution. And we could look at it the same way if we were looking at brown eyes only, whoops, brown eyes only, or possibly green eyes only. So that is a conditional distribution.